Oh my goodness, I am so excited you guys. Okay, so this is the box that I am making for my subscriber, Essie Cooper. Uh, but anyway, she is such an amazing subscriber. I love her so much and her daughter and they are like mother-daughter duo that watches my channel together and there's actually other mothers and daughters that watch my channel together and I think that is so awesome because like the average age of people that watches my channel has changed so much and now it is like 18 to like 48 or something like that which is crazy so i love that different generations can enjoy my channel but anyway this is the box that i'm painting for her and honestly this wasn't even going to be a video um i already showed you guys the little trinket box that i'm showing that i'm giving her i did a video on that i'll link that below it was one of these coffin boxes um, but yeah, you guys, I just have a bunch of like my favorite paints here and I'm decorating her box. Obviously, this isn't going to go up until uh, after she's received it. So you guys make sure you check the comment section down below to see what Essie, uh, to see what Essie thought about this uh, and her daughter. And they also might be doing a little video clip for Instagram or Instagram stories, whatever the heck you guys call that. I don't use Instagram myself, so I don't know. Although people tell me I should. Like honestly, this finished box with like a cute background, that would be a really great Instagram picture, right? So this is, <laughs> this is um, the box that I made for Essie. It's obviously not done. I'm gonna like be touching up the edges and everything. I'm working on it now. But I am using the neon lights, the deco art. I was about to say deco lights. And this is Pink Explosion. This has been one of my favorite colors for like 10 years. And then I was so excited and happy when I found out that it was one of Heather Sparkles, my good friend Heather, um, one of her favorite colors as well. Shout out to Heather. I mean, shout out to Sparkle Fam and and Heather. <laughs> what the hey? Um, and then I am also using this one here. This is Martha Stewart Crafts. This is the satin, and it is in the color. Where are we? Beach glass. Beach glass, you guys, is like one of my favorite minty shades ever. Oh my gosh, it is just so good. Look at it, you guys. That's only one coat so far. Ah, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you guys, this is a box that I painted for Essie. And I am just so super duper excited. I've actually been working on a ton of stuff lately. Oh wait, I forgot to show you the purple color. The purple color is so cute. Oh, and look, even my little garbage can from HomeSense is making an appearance in this little vid. Maybe I'll turn this into a vlog. I don't know. A day in the life, Miss Eddie Blue. Didn't I do like a day in the life of a kawaii crafter before? Oh my gosh, wait a minute. I started filming it and never posted it, did I? Or did I post that one? I don't know, you guys. Let me know and let me know if you'd be into that. So this is the purple color. This is gel, soft gel Martha Stewart's. Now, when I first bought the soft gels, uh, when they first came out and squeezed them out, I thought they had gone bad. I thought they were a total scam. But it turns out that they are so lovely. They just have a really strange looking consistency. But once you brush it on, it's really good. And I... I've been like obsessing with this color. Well, actually I, I haven't been continuously, but I was obsessing with this color last October and now I am obsessing with it again. So there is the purple. Other than this, I've also been up to a lot of other crafty goodness. So of course we have my, uh, my latest Michaels haul. Well, one of the bags right here, this is like the uh, slime supply stuff. Uh, hashtag sponsor me and then over here we have some slime that I'm working on you guys oh my goodness not sure oh I'll definitely post a video of this on my other channel on my slime channel which I will link down below make sure you go check that out make sure you subscribe because I'm gonna be having some awesome giveaways coming up and it is definitely much easier and a better chance of winning a giveaway when the channel is new because there will be a lot less subscribers a lot less people entering the giveaway and yeah you guys I'm gonna be having a bunch so if you guys have any kids grandkids into slime if you're into slime yourself like me because it is so aesthetic and pleasing definitely go subscribe to that channel um also there is just going to be like different 
crafty hauls, like the slime ingredients, like, you know, you could use this stuff to make an amazing shaker. But anyway, yeah, here is one of the slimes that I have come up with. This one is Kawaii Halloween, and it is so cute. It has a little Kuromi. See her right there? She is so adorable. And then over here, we have like the sprinkle mix for this one, and it is just all pastelloween. And then there is like a light, very light lavender snow fizz slime in there. So I'm not gonna go through all the slimes with you guys because that's not why you're here today. Or is it? I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know what video I'm gonna put this in yet. But anyway, I am gonna show you guys a few of my favorites. Honestly though, I really love them all. This one here is called Witch's Brew and this is another Witch's Brew. So normally Witch's Brews are made of like clear slimes um, but this one over here is actually an opaque butter slime, so that's a bit of a different take on Witch's Brew. But you guys, isn't this so cool? So I'm gonna be showing that more um, in detail on my slime channel. Uh, and then this over here is another Witch's Brew, but this one over here, which I really wanna show you guys, this one is Halloween Oreo Cookie Crunch, and it is so cool. This is a DIY clay slime, and it actually even comes with some slime whipped cream that you put on top. So here we have two layers of clay, of black clay, to represent the Oreo cookie. We also have the middle, which is white slime, to represent, you know, the Oreo filling. And I added some orange foam beads in, you know, just to give it more of a Halloween-y feel. Then, so when you open the lid, you'll also open your other little container of your whipped cream slime, and you add that on top. Then... Over here, you're gonna sprinkle these. These are little black foam beads. And there's also some really pretty black holographic glitter in here in a few different sizes. So once you mix that up into the white, that will like represent the little Oreo cookie crumbs and crumbles. So anyway, it is so cute. It also comes with two charms, this little Oreo charm here and this RIP. So they both match with the Oreo theme really well and with the Halloween. And honestly, you guys, this slime is so cool. I'm definitely gonna have to make another one for myself. And I don't know, Chase and my husband think that I should start a slime shop now. I don't know, you guys. I'm kind of like just doing the slime thing for fun. Maybe one day though. Maybe if people are really interested, I don't know. And then this one over here is so cute. And this one is called Kawaii Cotton Candy. And I love it so much. And it comes with that charm. <laughs> comes with, comes with, and I just said I'm not selling them. Uh, but anyway, it has just all different pastel colors and it comes with three of these charms i know we call them cabochons in the craft world but like i keep saying they are called charms in the slime world and like technically like if you go way back to olden times a charm was just like you know a charm like an amulet like um there's another word um but anyway it's just like you know it could be anything like a you know a lucky charm it didn't necessarily have to have a loop so anyway yeah and this is a beautiful light blue, like a mint green, really baby, baby pastel Tiffany blue. It is so beautiful. And then I added three different colors of foam beads. You guys, it is just so freaking pretty. So I'm definitely gonna be making a huge batch of this, some for myself and some to share. And these ones here, if I didn't already mention it, are all going out to one very special little girl. She was actually sick for a few weeks, right at the beginning of the school year. Uh, but she's doing so well on her channel. Once she receives the stuff, I will be giving her a huge shout out and I will be linking her channel. So you guys definitely keep your eye out for that. Okay, you guys, so since I decided to make this like a full-on crafty vlog, day in the life of Miss Eddie Blue type thing, I decided I would paint Gabby's box with you guys. So again, we are starting off with that beautiful Martha Stewart beach glass color, and I am just like covering this whole side of the box. Now I'm just going over it and smoothing it out because as you guys will see, for the first coat, I don't really like, I just kind of have fun and like, you know, splatter it in any way. And then I kind of fix it up afterwards. As you're gonna see, I'm going in again with more paint, just kind of smoothing it out and 
filling in any spaces that I previously missed. Now I think I'm just gonna like speed it up for you guys and put some music on, let you guys watch the painting, and then I will point anything out that I need to point out. Here again, like I said, I'm just covering up some of those spots, and then later after it dries, we are gonna go in with a second coat. And of course, you're always gonna wanna make sure to clean your brushes very well between colors. And I'm just showing you guys my little unicorn cup there. And of course, I already showed you earlier this color beach glass, and I love this color so much. And now we are gonna be going in with the neon lights, and I love that color too. Here we have the Martha Stewart periwinkle the watercolor and the grape taffy and definitely make sure you guys keep watching because the martha stewart paint is totally crazy
Okay guys, so I hope the lighting is okay because I did bring my tripod down and set it up for once. Um, but I didn't bring my lighting down from my filming room. So anyway, remember those really awesome slimes I was showing you guys earlier? Well, there's kind of a glare, but anyway, it turns out that I actually forgot to add the scent into a whole bunch of these slimes. Also, I just had an amazing order arrive from JustScent.com. So I'm going to be doing a haul um and reviewing those for you guys but for now i'm just going to be mixing them into a few of the slimes and i figured i would show off my slimes at the same time so i have a whipped cream scent here over here i have this Candyland, and this is a toy story fragrance oil so this is like a play off the new toy story movie and, the, and Chase was so excited when he saw that one. And we both love the smell of that one. This one is Marshmallow Fluff. It actually kind of smells like a cross between marshmallows and cotton candy. I really like it. So I'm going to be using that for this butter slime. And then right here, I love this one so much. And I know it totally looks like cotton candy. But I already have a whole bunch of the slimes scented as cotton candy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this one bazooka bubble gum. And after all, it is a pink slime. Okay, good. I thought that my battery just died and that would have been terrible. But yeah, it is a pink slime. So bazooka bubble gum, perfect, right? So yeah, I'm just going to mix these up for you guys or a couple of them up and show you guys how I mix them. And yay! Then I can finally pack them up and get them shipped out. Oh my gosh, and I can't wait to show you guys how Etsy's box turned out. Ah, it is so super cute. So make sure you keep watching. It smells so good. It's so good. Oh my goodness. So good. Hang on, you guys. I have to smell this up close. Oh. So good. See, so basically now I'm just working in the scent. I don't want to play with this too much. Like, I don't want to play with it because it's for someone else. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to show it to you guys. And then the cool thing is once it's back in the container for a few hours, all the foam beads will rise back up to the top. But yeah, you guys, I just think this is the prettiest slime ever. So I can't remember if this was always the name or if I changed my mind, 
but this one is definitely going to be cotton candy bubble gum. So that was the um, bazooka bubble gum scent. And I can't decide if I want to put in a little bit of cotton candy too. I might. But anyway, anyways, it is just super light and airy. This is like a brand new, well, kind of like a secret play. And I'm going to be sharing it with you guys in a few weeks. I've had a seller send me a whole bunch of clays. And yeah, it's so light and airy. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love it. Hey guys, hopefully you can hear me. So sorry about the background noises. It is actually Saturday morning in our house. Yay! So yes, it's the next day. I didn't end up completing the whole craft vlog in one day, but I did, however, complete my projects. And that is fake snow on the ground over there in the background, in case you're wondering. I like accidentally flew the bag and it went everywhere. Um, but anyway, here is the box I ended up creating and I'm in my little unicorn onesie thing. This is actually, one is not one of my favorites, but I actually found something that matches it so perfectly. These Ugg earrings, oh my goodness. Um, anyway, so here is the box, the finished box that I ended up creating. Do not mind my slime mess over there. We have been making so much slime, you guys have no idea. That is not actually like where I make it. I've just been keeping some supplies there. I make it up on the counter, you know, to keep everything sanitary and sterile and avoid contamination from product to product. Contamination as in like glitter. <laughs> anyway, here is the box. So you guys already saw this. This is what I made for her. I will link that tutorial slash craft with me down below. So when she opens this, she's gonna have a little gift inside of a necklace, a kawaii Ida bag pin. Um, there's also bells and I'm gonna put more bells in here. Like, so the package is like making a bell noise and like jingling, you know, when she gets it, that'll just make it more magical. So I'm also sending her a deco den kit. So I got these two deco whip colors that I picked out of my stash. I have like tons of deco whip and I ended up finding the missing deco whip, which is awesome. I have even more than I thought. And then I picked out these charms to go with it. So all she has to do is pick up one of these plain boxes at Michael's or at the dollar store. It doesn't have to be coffin shaped and then she can make her own. And that was not a hair, that is a piece of iridescent shred, as you guys can see. Look at the shred, it is so beautiful. So I'm gonna be packaging this up all beautifully. It looks like Chase is coming over. Oh yes, Chase is, Chase is just showcasing the product. So I made her up another little package. This one has baby blue, pink and yellow, and it is so pretty so she can decide if she wants to stick with the pink and mint theme or if she wants to use these or she can use these for another project. And of course there's unicorns, my melody, and more unicorns, candies, sweets, the happiest things. So she is getting that. She is also getting some Sanrio paper and that is gonna be at the bottom. These are just some little Sanrio note cards and envelopes. And then here is the box, which is what I should have been showcasing this whole time. Again, sorry for the snow fallout in the background. You guys, isn't this so cute though? The candy corn slime. Oh my goodness, I can't stop looking at it. And I've actually ordered, ended up ordering the candy corn scent that for some reason wasn't in my package. And because of that, I spent another $100 on scents. What the heck? Um, so anyway, here it is. I used some die cut 
uh, coffins. They are stitched. They have this stitched look, so it is so cute. And I love this element of the doily right here because it kind of gives it like a shabby look at the same time. But it's also got a freaking unicorn, so it's like totally, you know, our era, 2017 to 2020, maybe 2025. Who knows, you guys? How long are unicorns gonna last? What is your prediction? Are unicorns already gone? Are unicorns still a huge thing? Unicorns have been a huge thing in my life for over 15 years, like since the early 2000s, um, maybe even the late 90s. I used to collect like the fairies and the unicorns. Um, but anyway, yeah, what is your prediction? I have been kind of laying more low, um, not with myself. In my home, of course, still all unicorns, but in my videos, I have been laying more low with the unicorns because I just felt like things were kind of going unicorn crazy for a while. So yeah, what are your predictions on the unicorn trend? Is it staying forever? Is it going away? Or is it already gone? Comment below. Oh, and just for any paper crafters who might be watching and might be wondering what dies I used, I do have a Halloween die haul. I honestly can't remember if I already posted it last year or if I put this stuff aside to post this year. So either way, I will leave the link below um, if I already posted it or if I didn't post it yet, um, I will put the link when I post it because I got like the cutest Halloween dyes. I went Halloween dye crazy. Um, so these cute, adorable little ghosties right here are from this lawn fawn set right there. There is the item number and the skew. And this is actually one of the treat bag sets. It actually comes with the roof, uh, the window, the door, a little bat. It is like really adorable. I think that is the little bat that came with it and then the rest of them are mostly from ebay and aliexpress this little cat also came with this set so cute and then the other embellishments are from michael's okay guys so i am finally about to package up essie's stuff so i can ship it off i am so excited oh my goodness so really quickly, one last thing that I wanted to show you guys, and this is actually what started like the whole friendship between me and Essie. And so this is a custom made Sanrio Little Twin Stars necklace. So Essie had contacted me like sometime in 2018 and said that she would like to purchase a custom made necklace for her daughter's birthday. However, at that time I was busy and I said, sure, I'll make one for you. Uh, I just don't have time right now. And then like, you know, time kept passing by. I kept doing other things. So finally one day she emailed me again and she was like, hey, I was just wondering, can I still buy that necklace? Do you still want to make it? And I was like, you know what girl, I am just going to send it to you for free since you have been so awesome and waited so long. So here it is guys, I did one side pink and one side purple and yeah it's got Kiki and Lala and because there is gold glitter in it I used gold findings and sorry about my hands I have been painting <laughs> and I just painted another really freaking awesome box for Gabby's Fun Channel. So I'm about to package this up and then I'm probably going to make a haul video because I have like a million haul videos to get out and I haven't even posted a video in like a week. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, Essie, I'm gonna package up your box right now. I'm so excited and we're gonna get it shipped out. I thought tomorrow, but probably actually this evening. So yay. So because there's extra room in the box, you guys can see everything is placed so nicely. This is actually how I'm going to leave it, but I'm going to add, of course, the shred or worms as uh, old school YouTubers call it. Uh, but I did pack some in here as well, and I also packed some little stars and her necklace. And then seeing as we still have room here, I am actually going to be gifting her a slime. And this is a slime that I was actually going to keep and use for a video on my new slime channel. <laughs> yes, another shameless plug. Shameless. I can speak today. Well, maybe I can't, but that's okay. Sometimes I can. If you guys are hearing stuff in the background, by the way, that is Chase. He is like playing 
some Batman game on the Xbox and he's really excited. So that's what that is. But anyway, yeah, this slime is super adorable, but it is just like a beautiful, super light, light pastel. Uh, and I can't remember, I think I might have called this one either Unicorn Dreams or Kawaii Unicorn. And then the bottom also has sprinkles on it. And yeah, it's just super pretty and super relaxing, magical, pastel, beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna be including that right here. And then, I don't know, I might like throw something else right there. Anyway, yeah, you guys, it's super cute and I'm super excited. So here is the finished product, you guys, and I absolutely love it. Oh my goodness, it is so cute. So I already took you guys around and showed you the different die cuts I cut out and embellishments from Michaels. Oh my gosh, you guys, it looks so cute. And I think that the shred I picked out matches absolutely perfectly. I actually made up that mix myself out of a few different colors. And then while I was waiting for some of the paint to dry, I decided to get started on some of the next Happy Mails that I'm gonna have going out after these ones. And so these are just some really cute little Halloween and Pastelloween like sprinkle or shaker mixes, I should say, that I have made up to send to my friend Heavenly Imaginings and her sister. So a little shout out to her. Hi, Amanda. Uh, but yeah, these are a little sneaky peek of the sequence mixes I've made up for her and they are so pretty. This one here is all pastel. And then the other ones are mostly like for Halloween. This is a pastelloween one. It is so pretty. I put in like some extra bats. So if she is like gonna use it in a shaker mix, I would probably remove a few of the bigger bats. Uh, but anyway, yeah, you guys, I even used some clay sprinkles and I think that they turned out so super cute. I absolutely love them. This one even has like some fine green glitter in it. And yeah, they are just so super pretty. And then over here is the box that I was painting earlier, you guys. I ended up getting a bunch of it decorated and it looks so cute. I actually didn't even have to cut out many more die cuts because I already had so many cut out for the other projects I was working on. And you guys, I just think it's so magical. I used some of those bone embellishments from Michaels. And you guys, I think this is so cute. And here is all of the slimes. I finally got them all labeled and packaged up. They are all in the box. And you guys, it is so pretty. Of course, I'm gonna add some tissue paper on top. I absolutely love it. I just kind of went crazy and stuck things everywhere, almost like collage style. 
Like there is a little bit of layering, but not too much. I really just kind of like stuck everything on. I think it's super pretty, you guys. Oh my gosh, I think it's so super cute. And I think that the little girl who receives it, Gabby, is really gonna love it. And I do too. Oh my goodness, you guys. Ah! Okay, so the box is finally done. It's finally ready. Now this is not for like a regular Happy Mail or like a regular, like a paper crafting swap. I've done nail art swaps. I've done all kinds of Happy Mail. This is a slime package. So this is slime Happy Mail. So basically, um, with I've never like seen anyone decorate a slime package like this before like in this way like a paper crafter does so I'm hoping she's gonna be really excited not saying it's never been done because who knows maybe there's some other paper crafting slimers out there and if there is I really want to meet them so if you want make sure you comment below um but anyway yeah guys does he oh no he's supposed to be there yeah okay so I feel like something's missing right there though I think yeah, I think I was gonna stick a cloud there and I'm gonna have to do that. But anyway, yeah, you guys, here is the one side, how it turned out. So as you can see, I used a ton of embellishments from Michaels. Over here, this is from Michaels from one of their years. This is actually a wooden, is it a wooden one or foam? Oh, maybe this is a foam one, but they did have wooden ones as well that year. And then the die cuts are all from AliExpress and um, eBay. This is one of my favorites right here, this coffin die. And oh my gosh, look at the corner spider web. That's another of my favorites. Ah, you guys, it looks so good. So it will <laughs> probably be way um, past when I actually made this by the time I post this. And so, you guys, I've already unfortunately packaged everything up, but I think I showed you guys in a clip what I was sending her. Uh, but anyway, here is this side, and I love how this side came out. Oh, I forgot, I was actually going to um, get a little mint bow out of my little nail art acrylic bow case and stick a mint bow on there, and then it would match even better. I even have pink ones. Uh, but who knows if I'll end up doing that, because honestly, I just want to get this sent out. And then look, I got the iridescent shred. Okay, you guys, it is so pretty. And then on this side, I use a Unikitty. I keep thinking that these are hairs, but they're just the, um, like I'm so, I'm always so paranoid when I send my Happy Meal that it's gonna end up with a flipping cat hair in it for midnight. Uh, but yeah, if it does, that is just love, extra love for midnight. I love the way this spider turned out over here. The spider web, I should say, with the ghost. Oh, I think I see. I think I see where we have a a lost culprit here. Our little our little missing friend. Okay, so he's going to get I'm going to glue and it looks like another one right there. Normally I use a glue gun and I was really lazy and I used some other kind of craft glue for this. So, hopefully it fares well. But anyway, yeah, you guys, I just got all different colors of pastel shred and then I've used these uh star things maybe i'll add some more stars i don't think there's enough but anyway yeah you guys it is just so cute i absolutely love it i hope you guys love it too here's this side it is so cute so i had to redo my nails for a video how do you like them they are all pastel and glittery now i think i need one more coat of glitter on the yellow nail yeah but i did them rainbow kind of how i did them last month only uh, this time I did them in more pastel-y colors, whereas last time they were more bright. I actually like the bright on camera in the videos. I think it looks good, so I think I might be doing the brights more often, but these are the pastel and they're super cute. So I'm just waiting for that glue gun to heat up, and then we are going to, uh, we are going to rescue these little victims here and find out what we want to do there. I almost feel like I want to put another little ghosty beside that guy. But anyway, in the meantime... <laughs> okay, you guys, well, the sun is going away now, and I just did a really cute little impromptu unboxing for you guys since my husband just came back with the mail, or from the mailbox, I should say, or both. 
I should say. Anyway, it turned out that I was flashing my address the entire time, so oops, sorry about that. Um, so I kind of debated putting that back in the bag and being like, ooh, wow, foam beads, but it just wouldn't be the same. So in the original clip, I was like guessing what was inside and I was right, it was foam beads. And then it was when I went to cut this open that I realized, oh my goodness, my address is all over the place. I can't use that. Um, so anyway, I have not looked inside here. I have felt it and I'm gonna take a guess at what's inside. Um, isn't this washi tape so adorable? If you guys like this washi tape, it is actually from scrapbook.com. It's a doodle bug from their different Halloween collections. I think it's from like three different collections. Um, anyway, it is so cute. So this was some foam beads. Unfortunately, the seller sent me the wrong color. I wanted the brighter color than this. Those ones are like so light and whitish. And unfortunately, once a layer of slime goes over them, they look even lighter. So yeah, not sure what happened there because I like messaged with the seller and everything, letting them know which freaking color I wanted. Um, but anyway, we are gonna guess what's in here. What do you guys think is in here? By the feel of it, I am guessing it's cabochons, definitely. Cabochons slash chime, chime slimes? Slime charms. Cabochons slash slime charms. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh my goodness, you guys. I can't believe these arrived so early. You guys, no freaking way. You guys, these are from eBay. Oh my goodness, these are these are little clay. Oh my gosh, I have literally been eyeing these for years. I have two different styles of rainbows and one of them I actually didn't get till about a few months ago. I don't know, two months ago or six months ago. Um, and then I have another kind that I've had for a few years, but I've been eyeing these ones for so long. These ones aren't resin, these ones are clay. Oh my goodness, you guys, they are so adorable. And there's a whole bunch of different styles to choose from. This one is definitely one of my days. You guys, honestly, I bought these like 10 days ago. I feel like less from eBay. And they came that fast. Oh my goodness. So hit me up if you want the link for that. If I remember, you guys, I will link it down in the description. But this is kind of an all over vid, so I might forget. But yeah, from China, that is freaking amazing. Like, did they ship an e-packet? No, it's just regular small packet. That's crazy. I must have been lucky. I must have, like, placed my order right when the boat was leaving, <laughs> as my dad would say. Okay, so this next one is from Amazon. So, honestly, I don't even know if it's going to be anything interesting. Um, Let me get this open. Hang on. I'll be right back. Oh, look, there's instructions. Thank goodness there's instructions. They did that just for me. Yeah, okay, so pull tab to open, uh, it didn't work so well, and, oh, uh, I feel like I just broke 10 nails, and I hope, I hope, I hope I didn't, because I haven't even painted these ones yet, and you guys, I literally broke three nails on that hand yesterday, I'm so mad, so now these ones are going to be, like, nice and long, and those ones are going to be short, plus I broke my pinky, what the hey, okay, let's see what we got, you guys, <laughs> what? Why would they bother sending these by themselves? These were an add-on item to one of my orders. What? Why would they waste cardboard? They already delivered a package earlier today for my husband. What the heck? Like, in, in my account that I ordered for him. Why wouldn't they just ship these together? That is such a waste of not just cardboard. It's a waste of someone's time. It's a waste of energy. It's a waste of energy of when it got packed, of the label, when it got printed, of the gas, when it came over here. Oh my gosh, I could go on and on. That is just so ridiculous and making me not want to do add-on items, but they're so awesome. So these are Cadbury mini eggs, only they are for Halloween, so they are spider's eggs. They should just call them spider's eggs. I thought they used to. I thought there was a year where they did call them spider's eggs, so I don't know, but yeah, they are supposed to be spider's eggs. Ooh, you want some, Kelly? Kelly, you want some? <laughs> sorry, guys, my my friend Kelly, she does not like spiders, so sorry, Kelly, I had to. But anyway, yeah, looks like I got that there. Oh, the glue gun's heating up. Let us fix this little victim over here, as Tony would say. 
So sorry about that earlier guys, my battery died and I couldn't wait though, I had to get the package out so I ended up finishing it up without you guys, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, I've been working away. I finally got my nails done. Obviously, I wouldn't have if my battery wasn't dead. <laughs> but anyway, I also made these super cute little slime packages up. I just got done making a big batch in my mixer. And oh my gosh, these are so cute. So this one is going out to Amanda Random's daughter, Jazz. And then this one out here is another one. This one out here. <laughs> this one over here is another one for Gabby for Gabby's fun channel. And I think that they are super cute. And this is like a super fluffy uh, clay slime. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so thick and holdable. It is so awesome. So I can't wait for those girls to get those. I added some scent. These ones are actually scented like the just scent when unicorns fly. I'm about to have some ice cream, have a little break, and then I'm gonna get back to making slime. Cause like I said, I just made a huge base batch. So uh, I'm gonna see how many more, I think I'm gonna make two more for Jazz and two more for Gabby, and then I'll be done for the night. Here is the huge batch of slime I just finished making. Obviously it's not huge anymore cause I've already used half of it but it was like up to here, you guys. <laughs> I accidentally made way too much. Um, but anyway, yeah, you guys, it is so, do you see the bubbles? Oh my gosh, I know the lighting isn't good. It is like totally dark outside. It's like 11 o'clock at night and this is what I'm doing. So you guys, this slime is so super thick, but yet it is so stretchy at the same time and look at the bubbles oh they feel so nice you guys oh my gosh just look at them hang on let me do a cringy zoom in do you guys see those ah, i'm in heaven so yeah i am going to color more of this slime i am going to scent it and i'm going to package it up for some of my little youtube buddies and uh, I was gonna have a break, but I've decided just to continue with the slime making and then, and then be done for the night. And you guys, the slime, oh my gosh, it is so freaking good. So this is my super thick but super fluffy and super stretchy clay slime. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so amazing. I'm not gonna talk very much because I want any slimers watching to be able to enjoy the ASMR. But you guys, just look how stretchy it is. And at the same time, it is not sticky at all. And it is so thick and fluffy, yet it is totally non-deflating. Oh my gosh, you guys, I absolutely love this recipe. Okay guys, so I just finished editing yesterday's vlog. I actually think it turned out pretty good. I'm gonna end it here just cause it's getting kind of long, kind of really long, possibly even the longest video on my channel, but I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, you guys, are these not so pretty? So this is where they've been hiding. I need to bring these downstairs and use them. I'm actually about to go downstairs and film a mystery wheel of slime video with Chase. So if I didn't mention it yet in this video, make sure you guys click the link in the description down in the comments. Hop over to my cute but channel cute but channel cute but slimy channel and don't forget to subscribe plus turn on notifications i am going to be having giveaways on that channel as well and also really cute slimy crafty hauls so and that's it for today but i'll see you guys again very soon all my love miss eddie blue